the church to be in that dark place. Amen. That's why, amen, the, 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 the power of darkness is the absence of light. And the appearance of light is the absence of darkness. Anytime you're in a place of darkness, you need to turn on the light. You need to turn on the light. To turn on the light, you got to get in the word of God. You got to start decreeing what the word of God has I promise you, you got to stand on God's word and say, it is written, it is written, it is written, it is written, it is written. Because if you don't go back to the word of God, the enemy will keep you in that dark place where you are defeated, in that dark place where you feel hopeless, in that dark place where you give up, in that dark place, glory be to God, that that you are cresting in yourself and cresting in God. I wonder if God is with me. If God was with me, why I'm going through what I'm going through today. If God was so good, why God didn't deliver me out of my, my, my confusion and my destruction. But I come to tell you, glory be to God, destruction doesn't come from God. Amen. The Bible says God will not partake with evil. God have no partake with evil. But what happened now, saints of God, we dealing with an end enemy we're dealing with an arch enemy that doesn't love God, doesn't like God, and doesn't like God people. And so this is the fight that we are in. And to overcome this fight, things of God, you can have to turn on the light. Hallelujah. Tell yourself, say, turn on the light. If you don't win this, you got to turn on the light. You're fighting with the light off and you can't see. You're fighting with the light off, that's why you can't see. Because the Bible Bible says, as long as Jesus is in this world, he's the light of this world. And they that follow him shall not walk in darkness, but they shall have the life of light. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, saints of God, the order for us to overcome the enemy, we got to turn on the light. Glory be to God. Turn on the light. We don't fight in darkness. We fight in light. You got to know who is the enemy. And the only way you're going to know who's the enemy is to turn on the light and expose the devil for who he really is. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't let him put you in a dark corner. Don't let him begin to play with your mind and make you think that nothing is working out for your good. Don't let him begin to frustrate you. Don't let him begin, amen, to cause you to give up and throw in the towel. No, you got to come back to the light. Hallelujah. You got to come back to the light. Amen. And to overcome darkness, amen, is the appearance of light. You got to bring light in that situation, light in that chaos situation, light in that confusing situation, light in that situation when you feel hopeless, you bring light. Once you remind yourself about the goodness of Jesus Christ and say, Lord, I know, amen, I know that you don't want me to be, be depressed, amen, for your word says, amen, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all who was oppressed of the devil because God was with him. Come on, somebody call the light. Say, light come. My God, say, light come. You got to turn on the light. You got to turn on the light. You're fighting. You're fighting in darkness. You're fighting in darkness. No, you got to turn on the light. The first thing that God did, amen, before God make any creatures, before even God, amen, formed man from the dust of the earth, God begins to see the state of the earth. He looked at the earth, and the earth was dark and gross darkness, amen, and darkness was upon the deep. And the first thing God did, the Bible says, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be order. Light brings order. Let there be order. But if you find your life in disorder and in chaos, that means you are lacking light. This is why the light of the word of God, we find ourselves being confused. We find ourselves, amen, in a place that we really don't want to be in. Hallelujah. So, amen, to come out of that place, you got to turn on the light. Oh, God, look at your neighbor and say, turn on the light. 
My God, glory be to God. You got to turn on the light. Hallelujah. You can't fight in the darkness. If where you are not function according to the measure of God, what God has purpose for you to operate, you're not operating on that level. And darkness also brings, my God, bring you in a place where you begin to become depressed. And that's where the enemy wants. The enemy wants us to be depressed. The enemy doesn't want us to know, glory be to God, that God, amen, have sent the light, amen, and the light have shined in our heart to give us the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, you got to let that light shine. You got to let that light shine. David says in the Psalms, David says that the entrance of thy word give it light. You hear that? Give it light. So before light comes, amen, there was a state of darkness. And when God send, when God speak light, amen, darkness go away. Right. Do you know yeah. if you, if you in a dark room and if you turn on the light, I don't care how small that light is, that light have power, my God, to remove darkness. Right. Amen. And it doesn't matter how small the light is. That's the power that is in the light. Hallelujah. And we are talking about the light of that come from God, the glory light, the light that brings glory, the light that light up the mind heart, that lights you up in the deep part of you, that keep the mind heart light up with the glory and the knowledge of God. Amen. That's that light that God commanded to shine out of darkness and have shined it in our heart. That's the glory light. Amen. That's the glory light because the light comes with the glory. Amen. Light is one of, the, one of the elements. Darkness also is one of the elements. That's why we have night and we have day. Hallelujah. Night, glory be to God, is, is, is ruled by a lesser light. And that's called darkness. And day is moved, is ruled by the sunlight. And when the sun come, when the sun comes out, I don't care how dark that place was, darkness go, darkness disappear. When the light comes in you, I don't care how your life is in chaos, my God, things will begin to get in order when the light comes in. Because the entrance, the entrance of the word give it light. That means the word of God must enter in your heart if they're going to be light. It must come in. It must get in your heart. And transformation begin to take place once the word comes in and start creating light. The word, my God, the word itself is light. Hallelujah. The word itself is light. Amen. Glory be to God. Let's go to Acts chapter 26 and verse 18. Acts 26 and verse 18. Hallelujah. Acts 26, verse 18. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This light got to shine. Let this light shine. Let it shine. Let this light shine. My God, let the light shine. Let the light of God begin to shine in your heart. Amen. Let this light shine in your heart. Glory be to God. This light will shine in your heart. My God, hallelujah. Thank God for the light. Somebody that begin to thank God for the light. Glory be to God. Yes, yes, thank Jesus for the light. Hallelujah. My God, glory be to God. We thank God for the light. My God. Go ahead, my brother. Thank you, Lord. Open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. So our prayer that God will open up their eyes and turn them from darkness to light. Yes. Hallelujah. Open up their eyes and turn them from darkness to light. Open up their spiritual understanding and turn them from darkness to light. Not your natural eyes. It's, your, uh, it's the eyes of the spirit need to be opened. Hallelujah. The eyes of the spirit, what Paul says, that called the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, means to be filled with light. Once that light comes, your spiritual eyes is open and you have been delivered from darkness. Hallelujah. For the, the solution for darkness is light. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. They need light. This is why they're in darkness. This is why they're uh, they're operating in the, and they're living the way they're living because they uh, they are in darkness. But to overcome darkness, you overcome darkness with light. It's the light of God's word that overcomes darkness. Amen. And that same light ought to be in you. You ought to be a carrier of that same light. I ought to be a carrier of that same light. That means when you come in our place, you ought to bring that light in that place, even though that place is darkness. They remember when you come in that place, light appear. Come on, somebody, because you are a carrier of the light. You are the carrier of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There's people looking for that light, saints of God. We can't sit on the light and say, Lord, do this. No, God is using you. He's using me to bring light to dark places, to dark people. Sometimes we get we get so obsessed with ourselves until we just think about ourselves and not think about nobody else. But let me tell you something. There's people in worse condition that we are in. Amen. And look here. They are thankful for the little they get. They are so thankful. My God, even though we have much. Amen. We don't even know how to really be thankful until we find out that somebody is uh, living, amen, up under where we have. Somebody have less than what we have. And they are still thankful. They are still giving God praise. Why? Because the light is there. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Little is much wherever God is. Watch God is with you. You have little, that little becomes much. Amen. Because God is in what you got. Glory be to God. Amen. God is in what you got. Now the, the enemy sings of God want to keep the church in darkness. Doesn't want the church to be, amen, the the the, the, the to have the knowledge of God's word. Because just remember, it is the knowledge of God's word. That's that that's the light. And that light needs to come in you. And when the light comes in you, then darkness have to move away from you. You ever say, anytime that light comes in, the, in you, then darkness can be around you. Amen. So anytime you find yourself, amen, in a place of dysfunction, in a place of all of a sudden you just begin to get sad without nothing. There's automatically a sadness want to come on you or depression want to come on you. My God, you got to open your mouth and you got to change the atmosphere. You got to bring light in that atmosphere in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you got to bring light in that atmosphere because you, you, amen, the atmosphere has been darkened. That's why the enemy power, amen, it start to affect you because the, the where you are, he already created an environment that produces his presence and that manifests his presence and he's trying to keep you in that environment so you becomes negative so you becomes angry so you becomes dysfunction so you becomes mad for, oh, amen but amen when you find yourself in that situation it's time for you to open up your mouth and begin to turn on the light amen the bible says Glory be the God that God commanded the light to shine. And the same light that God commanded to shine, you need to say, Lord, let your light shine in me to give me the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You letting that light to shine in you, giving you that knowledge or oh, amen of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. And once that light is in you, you will not walk in darkness, but you will have the light of life. Anytime that light, which is the word of God, enters in you, you ain't got to worry about walking in darkness. You ain't got to worry about being this, amen, disqualified. You ain't got to worry. You ain't got to worry about you ain't got to worry about the enemy, amen, trying to attack you, amen, because why? You're walking in that light. You're walking in that light. You're walking in that light, amen, and that light is in you, and you are in that light, amen, glory be to God. And once, let me tell you something, the devil, the power of darkness have no effect where there's light. I want you to know that, that the power of darkness have no effect where there's light. You know when the darkness becomes to be effective? Because when we turn off the light, that's when darkness comes. 
Amen. When you when you come out of the word of God, that's when darkness comes. Amen. When you allow the enemy, amen, to deceive you, this is when darkness comes. Amen. This is when darkness comes. Because now, now you let the enemy deceive you. Amen. And you're no longer, uh, you are no longer walking and of course you're not walking in according to the light in alignment with god's word so darkness comes amen when we are out of line with what god what god word says that's when darkness comes and satan want darkness to really come because darkness will keep you in bondage it will stop you from prospering amen it will stop you from even moving forward any times that when you are walking in darkness you will not be able to really see the light and function in that light. Amen. Glory be to God. That's why the amen light overcome darkness. In every state of your life, light overcomes darkness. Somebody say that. Say light overcome light darkness. Overcome say it again. Light Amen. So it doesn't matter how dark the situation is, you just need to bring light. Just turn light. Just turn the just, just start speaking the word of God. Yes, see what David says in the book of Psalms, Psalms 36 and verse 9. Psalms 36 and verse 9. You see what David says. Amen. I'm telling you, saints of God, if we if we if we if we come back to the light, we will overcome darkness. Or every time, not sometime, but we'll overcome darkness always. Amen. If we come to the light, darkness will have no effect on us as children of light. Psalms 36, verse 9. Psalm 36, 9. Amen. Go ahead. For with thee, for with thee is the fountain light. Uh huh. You hear that? Read that again. With thee is a fountain of light. Not just light, but it's a fountain of light. Read. And in thy light shall we see light. And in thy what? Light shall we what? See light. My God. So wherever light is, there is life. Light is connected to life. God light will connect you to his eternal life. So anytime God light comes in you, eternal life there's came in you. Hallelujah. Anytime God light Hallelujah. enter in you, eternal life there's came in you. My God. Life without an ending. And all comes out of the light. All come from the light. Because Jesus Christ is the light of this world. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light of this world. Amen. And in him there is no darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In him there is no darkness. Now let's go to Psalms 27. And voice one. Psalms twenty seven and voice one. Psalms twenty seven voice one. If you have it, say Amen. Psalms twenty seven voice one. Go ahead. The Lord the Lord my light shall be uh -huh. You hear that? So, so anytime God God brings light, and because of light, you will have no fear. Light move away fear. Fear comes when there's no light. Keep that in mind. Fear comes when there is no light. So anytime you find yourself fearful, you're lacking light. That's why that fear comes. Because when God light is in you, there's no fear. Amen. Hallelujah. There's no Amen. fear. And in this light, you are connected to all that is in God. 
All that is in God is in this light. Because God is this light. God is this light. In Acts 17, 28. Acts chapter 17. Verse 28. Go ahead, my brother. My God. My God. My God. Do, 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 do you understand Amen. what the writer of what the writer is telling us? Is showing us? Amen. For in him we live and move. For in him we live and move. Go ahead. And we have our Amen. So once a believer is in God, then the believer is able to walk. We begin to walk. Live and move and have our walk in him. So, amen. So now, if you are in God, it means that you are in light. Amen. If you are in God, it means that you are in light. And what you is in light, amen, darkness is restricted. Because where there is light, darkness cannot be. That's why Satan, the first thing that the devil fight you, the first area that the devil fight us, is in the area of, of light. He fight us in the area of light. And let me show you when I said in the area of light, this is what he does. This is what, he, yes, go to, yes, yes, go to uh, Ephesians 4, verse 17 and 18. He fight us. The first area that God, that the devil fights you is in what? The area that has to do with your light. In light. If he can turn off the light, then he can, then he can keep you in bondage. If he can turn off the light. A lot of times that we allow the enemy to turn off the light because of the, the situation that we that we are, we find ourselves going through. We allow the enemy to turn off the light. It's to turn you away from God. Go ahead. Find the Lord that he walked uh -huh. in uh -huh. as other gentiles walk in the world. Amen. Having the understanding. So, so watch it. The Satan job is is to darken your understanding of God. It's to darken your understanding of God. You see, this is how we fight. He darken your understanding of God. Once your understanding of God is darkened, then automatically you are outside of life. You really don't. You really can't have faith in God because you don't understand God. Because he darkened your understanding of the creator. So, so spiritually, you are blind. Amen. And when you are blind, then automatically, you become victim to the devil. You become an easy prey. Because you allow him to take you out of the light and bring you in a place of darkness where he darkened their understanding. My God. Whoa, that's a serious, that's a serious state to be in. Having your understanding darkened. Then he separates you from the light and the life that is only can be found in God. So darkness separates us from the life from the light and the life that is in God. My God, amen. And this is this is one of the this is why a lot of times that we find ourselves going back, going backwards rather than forward, because we allow the enemy to separate us from the light of God. And we find ourselves in darkness. 
Go ahead, finish it. Being alienated from life through the ignorance of this because of that. And it's blinded their heart. As bringing our heart into a, 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 a state of blindness where your heart is blind. And just remember, the Bible says that with the heart man believe unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So, if your heart is blind, you will not, you will not accept what God is, 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 is saying. You'll not, be, you'll not believe what God is saying because you, your heart is blind. Your heart is blind. And it's because of the, because of what the enemy has blinded their understanding that they'll be cut off from that light and that life. Amen. And, and the absence of light is darkness. So they find themselves in darkness. They find themselves going through a situation that uh, a problem that depression them, oppression them. You know, because they are in, in gross darkness. They are in darkness. And that and, and that is not the uh, that is not a good place to be in darkness. This is where many people have committed suicidal. They, they kill themselves because they find themselves in a dark place. And because they did not go to the light. Because the solution, the only solution for darkness is light. And that light comes from God. That light comes from God. And once you get in that word. And once you start to read and decree what God says, I shall live and not die to declare the work of the Lord in the land of this of, of the living. Amen. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, you start speaking that word of God with understanding. Speaking that God word with understanding. You see that word begins to manifest quickly in your life. Amen. You can eliminate darkness with light. You can eliminate darkness with light. You don't have to be in darkness. You don't have to be in the in the place of, of chaos and dysfunction. No, you can stop it and say, you know what? From this day forward, I will not allow the enemy to bring me and pull me in this dark place. Amen. This dark place of depression. This dark place where I feel like my life is not, have no value. The devil is a liar. Everything the devil tell you, child of God, is a liar. When the devil say your life has no value, it means your life have plenty value. When the devil tell you, say you can never accomplish anything, that means you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He will always tell you the opposite of what God that ready, amen, predestined has already spoken over your life. Amen. And if you believe it, if you buy that lie, then you become subject to that lie because you buy the lie what the devil was telling you. That's why we got to go back to the word of God and stand on God's word and say, it is written to just shall live by faith. It is written I walk by faith and not by sight. It is written all things will work together for my good. It is written God will not put more on me than I can handle. It is written that God is with me as a mighty terrible one. It is written, hallelujah, behold, God has given me all power to tread upon scorpion and upon serpent. You got to go back to the light. You got to turn on the light. Turn on the light. Don't entertain that dark thought. Don't entertain that negative thought. Because when you entertain that negative thought, it begins to come stronger and stronger and stronger until it starts to control you. It start controlling your behavior. It start controlling you. You start getting angry because why? You entertain that negative, that negative thought. Amen. Paul says what? Paul says, cast down everything that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Amen. He said, cast it down. Amen. He said, you got to cast it down. You can't let it stay in your mind because it exalted itself above the knowledge of God. You got to cast it down. You got to pull it down. Amen. You got to say, look here. I will not be controlled by this negative thought. I will not be controlled by the enemy because saints of God. Amen. Just remember the devil 
Amen. Will attack your mind. The devil will attack the realm of your soul. Because if he can get to, if he can get to the mind, he can program that mind and have you, amen, under his control. How you complaining, how you worrying when God says we must not worry about the things of the morrow, for the things of the morrow will take care of itself. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. But the devil will bring you to the place where you become hopeless. Where you feel like you're hopeless. That nothing is going on real. Nothing is, nothing is happening in your life. When you come to that place, it's time for you to speak your word. The Bible says, and we understand that the world was framed by the word of God. We got to learn how to frame our world by our word. By using the word of God and start decreeing some stuff over your life. And say, look here, this is this. This is what God will and purpose for my life. Amen. And I stand, I stand in agreement of what God, amen, original plan and purpose for my life. I will not allow the enemy, amen, to frustrate me. I will not allow the enemy to defeat me, but I'm going to continue to lean on to the, amen. I will continue to keep my mind on the Lord. Amen. amen. You know, continue to keep your mind on the Lord because if we, if we lose focus, then we give the enemy the upper hand. Anytime you lose focus, you give the enemy the upper hand. We, hey, don't make it easy for the devil to destroy you. Amen? Don't make it easy for the devil to destroy you. Don't let the devil destroy you in no way and no fashion. If you stay in the light, if you stay in the light, it's impossible, amen, it's impossible for you to walk in darkness if you have the light of life. Amen. You will walk in the light as he is in the light. Amen. God, my God, I'm telling you, saints of God, glory be to God. Amen. It is the light that overcomes darkness. Only the light that overcomes darkness. Nothing else overcomes darkness. Amen. So if you find yourself in a dark situation, that means that that problem, you need to put some light to the problem. This is why it's dark. Amen. It lacking light. Don't worry about it. Just go in the word and start decreeing. Speak light. When God saw the state of the of the earth and the earth was in darkness, God didn't just automatically look at it and say, "My God, the whole earth is in darkness." But the Bible says that He speak. He speak the word to the darkness, and He says, "What? Let there be light." He command the light to be, and the light came. And when the light came, the darkness went away. So light remove darkness. Light remove darkness. Yes, sir. When we are in the light, amen, and the light is in you, amen, you will not walk in darkness, things of God. You will not walk in darkness. Amen. You will not walk in darkness. Because the light overcome and remove every form of darkness. Every form of darkness. Because wherever the light is, darkness can never be. Why do you think the enemy is fighting you in the area of light? He's fighting you in the area of knowledge. Amen? He's fighting you in the area of knowledge. Let's go to John 12, verse 46. John 12, 46. He's fighting you. In, in the area of of knowledge, that, that 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 that's where he's fighting you, in the area of knowledge. John twelve forty six. He's fighting you in the area of knowledge. Amen. That's where the devil wants you to be in darkness so he can continue to make your, li your life a living hell. But tell the devil today, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm not going to be in darkness. No. Nah. I'm not going to allow you to make my life become a living hell. No, nah, I'm going to bring order to my situation. I can speak the light into being. Go ahead. I am come light into the world. 
What he said? I have. He says, I have. I have what? Come. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You see that? Who who shall ever shall believe it in him? What will happen? Shall not abide in darkness. Whoever believe it in him, he come the light. He's the light of this world, and 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 whoever believe in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we abide in darkness, it means we don't believe in him. This is why darkness, this is why we find ourselves in darkness. You see what I'm saying? It's because we don't believe in him. That's why we find ourselves in darkness. But if we believe in him, there's no way that we will find ourselves in darkness. Hallelujah. There's no way. Amen. You will not find your, you will not be in darkness because why? You believe in Him. In God. Let's go to Ephesians 5. Huh? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. Ephesians 5, verse 8. Ephesians 5, verse 8. You have it, say amen. Go ahead. I love it. But now are you in the past? You see that, see that? Amen. <laughs> Amen. In the past, you was in darkness sometime. Amen. But now are ye where? In the light. And who? Right in the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord. Now you are what? Light. So you are the light that is in God, in the Lord. Yeah. So what? Yeah. Walk as children of light. Of light. Yeah. So the light is supposed to also affect the way you walk. Because yeah. once you are in the light, you need to walk yeah. as children that is in the light. It changed the way you walk. It changed the way... You, 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 you adorn yourself. It changes the way you behave. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You don't behave the way you used to behave no more. Because why? You are children of the light. So we are to walk as children of light. Amen. Because Satan, Satan's plan is to keep you in darkness and gross darkness. He doesn't want you to even come. And be a part of this light. But tell the devil he's a liar. Come on, say something. Tell the devil he's a, devil, he's a liar. Amen. He can't he cannot stop what God already predestined. You see, there's so much information has been released to you today. There's no way that we should walk in darkness because all the information that God has given us today are to keep us in the light. Even with even if we was going off track, we are to come back on track. Hallelujah. Amen. We are to come back on track in the light. Amen. Because as long as you are in the light, you will not walk in darkness. Let's go to first John 2, verse 8. First John 2, verse 8 through 11. First John chapter 2, verse 8 through, through 11. You have it, say, Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead, my brother. This is good. Go ahead. Uh huh. Continue. He that said is in the brother in darkness, even on time. My God. My God. 
You see that? You see, the light is always connected to, to love. He that, he that loveth his brother abideth in the light. So the light always, always will connect you to love because God is love and God is light. So any times that that light is in you, amen, that means that love will abide in you. Love will abide in you. Amen. Amen. Just read verse 8 again. Again? Yes. You will come up, I write unto you. Uh huh. It's true in the future. Because the darkness is the darkness is calm. Yes, the truth and the true light are now shining. My God, you hear that? So when the, now we see something again, when the true light shined it, when the true light shined it, now we know who is the true light, Jesus says, he is the light of this world, so he's the true light, so when that light shines, what that light does, it, it, it removes darkness, it removes darkness, wherever that light shines, darkness is removed. Amen. Add something to it, brother Dylan. My God. Just add something to it. Shine some light on it. God, bless God, bless God. Light. It's what you just said, you know, light connect my God love. So when once love is there, a light is there. So That's right. God, God, Amen. God, God, God. Amen. Um, in, in John, uh, in John as well, he says that my God, bless God. Love. Nature is love, and its nature is life. Amen. So when comes, love comes. Amen. My God. My God. The yes. Nature of God is light, and the nature of God is love. So That's the right. Nature of, the nature of love comes in. Amen. God, and it's so Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you're telling me that when the light comes in me. The love, the nature of God, which is love, also come in me. That's it, baby. My God. So when you get the light, you have love. So now, the absence of love is the absence of light. Ah. So when I don't have love, it means I don't have the light. Because the nature of God is light. And when that nature, when that light is in you, love is in you. Bless God. Because that's who he is. Amen. <laughs> My God. Jesus. So you see why the devil fighting us so, so hard to keep us out of the light, keep us out of the word of God, to keep your mind somewhere else, rather than Amen. keeping your mind in the book. Amen. And get in the word of the Lord. He keep our mind everywhere. Trying to take your mind everywhere. Amen. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you to know the true light. But tell the devil it's too late. It too Hallelujah. Yes, God. Now, you see what the prophet Isaiah said. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2. Anybody, anybody enjoying it? Amen. You're being blessed. You're getting your... Amen. I hope, you get, I hope you're learning something. Yes. Go, go, go ahead, Salida. Go ahead, Sister Salida. Yes, chapter 9, verse 2. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Go ahead. Me? Yes. Sister Lita, go ahead. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. The people that walk, my God. You hear that? The people that walk in darkness shall say what? See a what? Great light. Light. Uh-huh. 
shadow of death. My God. Upon them that the light shine. My God. So now we know that darkness comes with everything that negative. When Satan brings darkness in a man's heart, it brings the shadow of death. It literally brings the shadow of death. Amen. Amen. When down, but when a great light comes, that great light, it means that light have the power to cancel death. Light have the power to cancel death. That's why we can, we can, we can say we, you can, we, you can decree that you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the work of the Lord. That's light. That's light. That's light. That I will not die, but I will live to declare the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is light. Man, what are you telling them? That, uh -uh, I'm not going to die. I'm going to live to declare the work of the Lord. In the, in the land of the living. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because the great light has come. A greater light has come. A greater light has come. And that greater light is Christ Jesus that now abided in our heart. Abided in our heart. That's where he is. He abided in your heart. My God. Amen. The light, which is Christ Jesus, abided in your heart. And that's the great light. Amen. That's the great light. Let's go to Matthew 16, verse 6. Matthew 16, verse 18. Rather, sorry. Matthew 16, verse 18. You have it, say amen. Amen, I have it. Matthew 16, 18. Go ahead. And I say also unto thee, uh -huh. that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. Light also will reveal or cause you to discover your identity. That is in Christ Jesus. Light reveals one identity in Christ Jesus. Just remember, amen. Peter's name was, was Simon Bar Jonah. But when Peter received the revelation of the identity of Christ Jesus, then now God changed his name from, from Simon Bar Jonah to Peter, which is his destiny name. My God. Hallelujah. What's his destiny name? Amen. And he says, upon this revelation, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the revela the light brings the revelation. Light reveals. Light rediscover. It will rediscover your, your, your identity. When that light comes on, then now you begin to know who Christ is. And by you knowing who Christ is, then Christ will reveal to you who you is. That's what light does. So the devil's job is to keep you away from light so you will never know who Christ is. Amen. And in the process of not knowing who Jesus Christ is, you'll never know who you is. My God, amen. So he'll fight you wherever you're trying to get. He'll fight light. He'll fight that light that is in you because he doesn't want you to be exposed to light. Amen. He doesn't want you to be exposed to light. He wants you to be exposed to darkness so you will never know who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. John 16 Amen. verse 33. John 16 verse 33. I know I come in with a lot of worry, but saints of God is going to take these worries because what we are dealing with right now, saints of God, we are living in the last day and only the word of God can bring real hope. Amen. The word of God, only the word of God can offer hope to the people. And this is what the people need. The people need the word of God. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. This is what can keep you alive. It's God's word. Amen. Amen. So just bear with me. As I go through the scripture, just bear with me. Please. Amen. 
Go ahead, John 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, uh -huh. that in me he might have peace. Uh -huh. In the world he shall have tribulation, you and not be of good cheer. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. In Jesus, you will have what? Peace. Peace. Con Amen. Confusion is in the world, but as once a child of God is in Jesus, even though you are in the world, but you're not of the world, because why? You operate and function by a higher system, and that system is the system of God. In Jesus, you will have peace. In that light, you will have peace. Amen. Even though you will have tribulation, but be of good courage, for he has what? What he did? He have overcome it. My God. And greater are he that is in you than he that is in the world. That you in the world. My God. Amen. Glory be to God. Philippians 2.15 Philippians chapter 2, verse 15. Philippians 2, 15. You have it, say amen. shine as light in a dark world. We shine as light in where? In the dark world. This is why the devil is trying to, he, he doesn't want you to have this light. So you will not shine as light in this dark world. That's why he's fighting against the light. He's fighting against the light. The devil is not fighting against you. He's fighting against what you believe. It is your faith is what on trial, not you. It's what you believe is on trial. Because you believe in what the word of God says, so you come under attack. Satan don't fight no one that is not a threat to his kingdom. So if you find yourself going through all kinds of, 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 of demonic fight, it means you are a threat to the kingdom of of darkness. Oh my God. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is why he fighting you. So don't think that well something wrong with you. No. You are carrying glory. Uh, you are carrying purpose. You are carrying a ministry. That the devil is so afraid of. Because the devil doesn't want you to know. Who you are in Christ Jesus. So he can fight you and fight you. And make you change your mind. About following the Lord Jesus Christ. Then he'll got. Then that's where he got you. Amen. But you, you, you're not going to change your mind. You're not going to get in. You're not going to allow whatever situation comes your way. You're going to stand your ground and continue to speak the word of God over every situation. You will not allow your situation, that negative situation, get the best of you. You will not allow yourself to be subjected to that situation. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because the Bible says, the Bible says, glory be to God, that God will not put more on you than you can can handle. So if you find yourself in a situation right now, believers, come on, that means you can handle it. Hallelujah. That means you can handle it. That means that you can handle it. You are more enabled to go through any kinds of storm or situation that the enemy will throw your way. I'm telling you, saints of God. 
And if I was you, I would begin to give God the glory and praise in advance. Amen. Glory be to God. The reason why the enemy is pressuring you, because the devil knows that there's a glory is about to follow you. The devil knows that God's hands is upon you. The devil knows that there's a great door that God has opened for you. The devil knows that God is bringing favor to you. This is why the enemy is throwing everything at you, trying to discourage you, trying to cause you to doubt God. But look at your neighbor. I want you to tell yourself, I will not doubt God. I will not allow the devil to cause me to discredit my God. Say, I will never discredit Jesus. Say, I will not discredit God. Amen. Because he's good in all ways. He always good. Amen. And we believe, amen, that the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. I said, we believe the best is yet to come. Glory be to God. Is yet to come. Continue to hold fast to your confession. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, cast not away, therefore, your confession. Don't cast it away. Don't you give up. Don't you get in. Don't you allow your heart becomes heavy. Don't you allow the enemy to defeat you. Don't you allow Satan to fool you with all kinds of lies. Because everything he's telling you is a lie. It is opposite from the truth. If God said he's going to do it for you, I want you to believe my believers, my beloved son, son, spiritual sons and daughters, God is more and able to do it for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want you to tell yourself, I'm going to get the victory. I want you to let yourself know that victory belongs to me. I want you to give God praise right now for that victory. My God, give God praise. My dear sister, my dear brother, give God praise for that victory. Amen. Don't let the devil to silence your voice. No, no, no. Don't let the devil, amen, cause you to shut up. The devil is a liar. The Bible says, if you decree a thing, if you decree a thing, it shall be established. You better start decreeing some stuff right now. You better start decreeing some stuff right now. Decreeing what the Lord has promised to do, what God has promised that he is doing in your life. Just start decreeing a thing. Hallelujah. Start to decree a thing right now and tell the devil, amen. Say, devil, whatever, whatever. Whatever you are planning against my life will not prevail. Whatever you are planning against my future will not prevail. Whatever you are planning against my family will not prevail. Whatever you are trying to block, you can't block nothing that God has already loose. I say you can't tie up nothing that God has already loose. Somebody that give God praise. Amen. Come on, give him praise. And give God the glory. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. For the for the wonderful things he has done. Amen. Come on, somebody bless. Bless his wonderful and awesome name. Come on, bless his name. Bless his name. Tell the devil. Amen. Tell the devil. Amen. I will never quit. I will never quit. You got to open your mouth. Let me tell you something. You got to open your mouth. Amen. You got to open your mouth by speaking to the enemy. Tell the devil, I don't care what you're doing. Amen. I will not give up. Hallelujah. Hey, man, say, I will not give up. I have so much to live for. I got so much to fight for. I will not give up. I will not surrender. No surrender. No retreat. No surrender. No retreat. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. I'm going to deeper depths and higher height in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Tell the devil you're not taking no for an answer. When God say yes, it means yes. Amen. And don't sell, no make no deal with the devil. If God say yes, it means yes. Amen. Glory be to God. It means yes. It means that God is doing a great work in you. Amen. God is preparing. Amen. Things that your eyes have not yet seen. Come on, somebody give God praise and give God to glory. Amen. Come on, give him praise and glory. 
Amen. I'm telling you, you're not going to give up. You're not going to get in. You're not going to let the Bible say, if your heart condemn you, God is greater than your heart. So don't let your heart, even if your heart condemn you, I want you to know that God is greater than your heart. Glory be to God. And hold on, the best is yet to come. Even though you've been through the storm, but the storm couldn't move you. The storm couldn't move you. I'm telling you, the storm could not move you because God was with you. God is with you. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous and his ears is open unto your prayer. If you start praying, if you start decreeing, God will listen. God will hear you. If you open your mouth and start decreeing a thing, if you open your mouth and start speaking, start speaking, start loosening, start loosening, start loosening those things that God has blessed you, that God has loosed. Amen. You start loosening on earth and God will loose it. In heaven, he'll loose it for you. I say he'll loose it for you. Somebody give him praise. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. And tell the devil, tell the devil he's still a liar. Amen. He can't stop what God has already predestined. Amen. He cannot stop what God has already predestined. Amen. He will try, but whatever he's doing will not succeed. I said, whatever the enemy is doing will not succeed. The Bible says in Psalms 91, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's a place. That's a place. That's a place of power. That's a place, my God, that the Christian, that we need to live. That's the place that we need to stay. Amen. That place should become your dwelling place. Glory be to God. The secret place of the Most High. Amen. The Bible says we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Come on, somebody. Give God praise and give Give God the glory. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. The writer says that though he slay me, but yet will I trust him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know what? Amen. The devil thought the storm would have take you out, but the devil, amen, is a liar. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thought the storm would have take you out. My God, the storm can't take you out when God's hands is upon you, when God is covering you. Hallelujah. How any storm can take you out. Somebody give God praise and give him glory. Glory be to God. Amen. Because what God have in store for you, what God have in store for you, beloved, what God have in store for you, eyes have not seen, neither hairs have heard, neither have entered in the hearts of man, the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Do you love Jesus Christ? I say, do you love Jesus Christ? And if you love him, if you love him, I want you to know that God have great things in store for you. Amen. Glory be to God. Great things in store for you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Brown, you make it. My God, no storm can wipe you out. Amen. Your family still standing. Oh, we ought to thank God. Glory be to God. I say nothing could wipe you out. Glory be to God. Because when God, once God is with you, the Bible says, Amen. Glory be to God. He that watched over Israel, neither sleep, neither slumber. Somebody said, God was watching over me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tell, amen. Amen. Tell, say, God was watching over me. Yes, sir. Why you were sleeping through the storm, God was watching over you. He was watching over you. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You can lose things, but you still got your life. Come on, give God praise and give God the glory. I say, you, you might lose things, but you still got your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Things can be restored, but you can't restore life. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. And I guarantee saints of God that God has something greater in store for you. Do you believe it? I say, God, have, if you lost anything in this storm, God, I want you to know that God has something greater in store for you and let the believer say yes hallelujah let those who believe say glory amen and give god the praise and give god the glory hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah glory be to god i just really thank god for his divine protection glory be to god hallelujah we might lose we might lose some a, a few vehicles but look here we are still here Hallelujah. We are still here. Glory be to God. And I know, amen, as long as you're here, it means that God have a better, God have a plan and a purpose for your life. Amen. And there's better things. To, amen. The best is yet to come. 
Amen. You just have to know it and continue to believe it and stand on the word of God. Amen. Just continue believing and stand on what the word of God has already decreed over your life. Saints of God. Amen. Don't allow yourself to become, amen, where you become uh, unthankful, ungrateful. Amen. You have a lot to give God the praise and the glory for. Amen. Close your book. Sister Gladys. Praise the Lord. Sister Gladys. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Glory be to God. God is good. My God. I said the Lord is good. Amen. Somebody else give him praise and glory today. Hallelujah. My God. He's good. My God. Look at you. Glory be to God. Hey, don't you? Hey, man, I'm looking at your face. Ain't hey, none of y'all look like y'all been defeated. None of y'all look like y'all depressed. My God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hey, man, God know how to maintain his children. I tell you, God know how to take care of his children. Yes, sir. He'll take good care of his children. My God, that's why you have a joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. That way your face is light up with glory. You're giving God glory and you're giving God praise. The songwriter says, when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul, my God, my soul, my God, you're still standing above ground. Hallelujah. You ought to give God praise. You're standing above ground. So you ought to give God praise and glory. My God, and tell the devil, you ain't saying nothing. We are still here. And God has something great in store for us. Hallelujah. That's why we are still standing under, amen, under the grace of God and the mercy of God. We are still here. Glory be to God, giving the devil hell. Yes, sir. Giving the devil hell. Yes, sir, we are still standing and we can give the devil some hell. My God, yes, sir, we can give him trouble. My God, we can give the devil some trouble. Glory be to God. Yes, sir. My God, we can give him trouble. Amen. Glory be to God. Because we're supposed to be sad. We're supposed to be depressed. That's the devil plan. But the devil, my God, he's a liar. We ain't going to be sad. We have nothing to be sad about. My God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we can rejoice. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. When you can smile. After you come to a storm, you got to know that you have joy. Hallelujah. When you can give God thanks, when you lose a lot of stuff, you better know that you have something more valuable than things, and that's Jesus Christ. Somebody give him praise and glory. Hallelujah. And clap your hands. And my God. And, and, and confuse the devil. Confuse that devil. Amen. Confuse that devil. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this. What he had for evil is going to work good. This going to work out for your good. Amen. Because the Bible says, and we know. And we know, brother Dylan. We know it. My God, we know it. My sister, sister Alita, we know it, not hear it. We know everything will work together for your good. My God, as long as you continue to love God, we know it. My God, there's something that we know. We have confidence in what God has promised us. We have confidence in it. That is going to work together for our good. Somebody bless God and give God praise. Amen. Glory be to God. Sister Cena, give God some praise. Bless his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Tell the devil you're still here. My God. You can't get... Uh-uh. Amen. Sister, sister Chelsea, Chelsea they, they, they can't take you out. The devil can't take you out. No, no. They can't take you out. Can't take your family. You can't touch nothing that you have. Glory be to God. Give God praise for it. Amen. Because you still have life. Life is more important than things. Amen. Life are more important than things. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God praise, my young sister. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise and give him glory. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We just bless his wonderful and glorious name. My God, I said we bless his wonderful and glorious name. Glory be to God. Amen. Light overcome darkness. Light overcome darkness. All the time, not sometime, all the time, light overcome darkness. My God, that's why he says, walk in the light as he is in the light and you shall have fellowship one with another. Come on, somebody. Amen. Our God is light. 
my God, hallelujah. And that's the light that ties into life. As long as that life is in you, the life is in you. The life of God is in you. The Zoe life, a life without the beginning, a life without the ending. Amen. Eternal life is in you because that light has entered in you. Hallelujah. The light has just entered in you. Glory be to God. Come on, my sister, right here. Give God praise. Come on, my sister. Hallelujah. Rejoice and give the Lord praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God because you're still standing. Amen. And God has already given every one of us the victory. My God, he has caused us to triumph over the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. You will, amen. We will not allow the enemy will make it to make us feel like, amen. Nothing is working out good. Nothing is going working together. Uh uh. Look here. The Bible says all things. That's right. That means everything is going to work. In. It is working out for your good. Even the bad, even the bad, the negative is working out for your good. Is working out for your good because you love him. Because you love him. Continue to love God. Continue to love him. Amen. Continue to love him. And I guarantee things will continue to work out for your good. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And I just thank God. I thank God. I thank God for this sweet fellowship. My God, we are church. Amen. Glory be to God. I said we are church. Glory be to God. I thank God for this for the fellowship. Yes, sir. We, we are, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah, we have church. May God, you know, the church is not a building. We are the church. Amen. That means anywhere we go, we can have church. Glory be to God. Amen. The devil will not. Amen. This is what Satan want to do. Satan didn't want the church to be open. Satan didn't want the, the devil didn't want the church, the voice of the preacher to be heard. But the devil is a liar. Let me tell you something. The word of God. The Bible says declare. Amen. Glory be to God. That the word of God has already been established in heaven forever. David says forever. The, the Lord, that the word, that his word has been established in heaven forever. That means whatever God has already spoken over your life is already been done. Amen. It's a finished Amen. deal. It's finished. It's a finished product. We just need to give God praise and receive those things that God has promised us. Amen. Receiving Amen. those things that God has promised us. Amen. Has already been done. Has already been finished. Has already been finished. Glory be to God. Amen. And we just need to receive receive them glory be to god amen god bless you god bless you my god we got people keep people coming on from everywhere god bless you god bless you god bless you amen they overcome us they overcome us my god they overcome us glory be to god i said they overcome us yes sir they overcome us they're still here my God, glory be to God. Look at Sister Gladys. You're looking so good. Look at her. Look at her. Glory be to God. God bless you. God bless you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell her you looking right at her. She ain't, she ain't see me. Glory be to God, but I see her. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. We ought to be some joyful people, boy. Look here. Hallelujah. You know, you, you know that God has something great in store for us, saints. You know that God has something great in store for us. Amen. God even protect the animals. Look at the two dogs. The dogs have been protected. Good Lord. Look at them. My God, the dog and all happy. Glory be to God. I'm going to let the dog have more joy in me. The devil is a liar. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Sister Brown, let's give God praise. Come on, give God praise, my dear sister. Yes, sir. Give God praise. Hallelujah. You are a survivor. My God. When you storm and come out. Hallelujah. When you would come out of it. My God. And it didn't touch you. Come on, someone. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God and sister. Anja. Glory be to God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. God bless you. Amen. And Diane Vitica. My God. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. My God. Yes, sir. We got a lot to give God praise. We just celebrating the goodness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Amen. 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 See the songwriter said, Brother Dylan. Amen. Glory be to God. When I think about the goodness. Uh huh. Uh huh. Finish it, my sister. My God. And all. What? And. Okay. Good Jesus. Hallelujah. And we supposed to be silenced when God has been so good to us. No, we ain't being no silence. No, we gonna rejoice. We gonna make some Holy Ghost noise, sanctify noise. We gonna give God what He deserves because we are still here. My God, I see my sister. I see. I can't hear your sister Celia. Come on, what? What? Come on. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless y'all, my God. Yes, sir. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Come on. Amen. Glory be to God. We give God praise and glory. My God, we give God praise and glory. We just thank God for everything that he's doing. And, and look here. The best, the best is yet to come. The scripture says, eyes have not seen. Okay, the things that God has what? God has prepared for what? So it means it then ready when what? Prepared. So if something has already been prepared and already been done, you have not yet seen it as yet. But it don't mean that it is not there. It is like faith. It's like faith. I can't wait. I can't wait. My God. God is about to show off to his people. I'm telling you. He's about to show. My God. Yes, sir. He's about to show off. My God. Yes, sir. He's about to show off. My God. Amen. I'm telling you. Many of us who lost. My God. You ain't lost nothing. I say, you ain't lost nothing. I say, you ain't lost nothing. Right, Mother Gail? We ain't lost nothing. Glory be to God. We ain't lost nothing, Minister Gail. Hallelujah. Because we still have life. We are still standing above ground. We are standing above our grave. My God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, though, the best is yet to come. I know God has something great in store for every one of us, who every one of y'all who are hurting out there. Amen. Don't lose hope. Continue to trust in the Lord. For the Bible said, they that trust in God shall not be ashamed, but they shall be like Mount Zion, which shall not be removed, but shall abide it forever and ever and ever and ever. And if you believe God, give him praise and give him glory today. I said, you believe and give him all the praises and give him the glory and the praises. Amen. Because he is worthy. He indeed, amen, is worthy for all the praises and all the glory. Amen. He inhabited the praises of his people. Come on, somebody. And if you're a child of God, amen, God inhabited the praises from you. Amen. God wants you to praise him. God wants us to be thankful. Amen. God wants us to be thankful. And we ought to be thankful, saints of God. We ought to be thankful, saints of God. We ought to be thankful. My God, glory be to God. My dear sister, Lord, sister Lucy, glory be to God. Amen. All the way from Fort Myers. Amen. We thank God for you. Woman of God, we thank God for you. Hallelujah. You are survivor. My God, that's why you can log on. That means you're still alive. My God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. You're still alive. You're still alive. My God, ain't no storm can take you out. Come on, some of my sister. No storm can take you out. Glory be to God. No storm can take you out. Amen. God got better play things and plan for your life. Glory be to God. Amen. And I come to tell you, amen, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Come on, Bianca. My God, my niece, Bianca. Come on, somebody. Bianca Davis. Oh, my. You know. You know you're a you survivor. That's why you're still here. You're standing. That's why you're still standing. You are a survivor. My God, you are you are a survivor. Amen. That's why you're still here. My God, come on. Bianca, give God praise where you are. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Give him glory. My God, yes, sir. Give him praise. Amen. We are still here. 
We are still here. We ain't going nowhere. We here to give the devil hell. Yes, sir. We are give him hell now, and he can go to hell. He can spend eternity in lake of fire. We can give him hell now, and, and later he can spend eternity in hell. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes, sir. We still here. We ain't going nowhere. Yes, sir. We can give demons hell. Yes, sir. My God, they're going to go to hell before they tie. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, sir. We can light them up with all kind of fire. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we'll lose our fire. No. We'll lose our boy. We just get more. Come on. We just been charged up. God been charging you up to the storm. God charged you up. My God. Hallelujah. When you see how God, amen, how God enabled us to ride out the storm. I know we sing the song, ride out the storm. But boy, look here. We went through a real storm that we had to ride out. Glory be to God. And it only the grace of God. My God, that cause us to ride on this storm, oh, my God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sister Elijah, can you bless us with that song before we dismiss? Ride on the storm. Can you bless us with it? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's been in the storm. It seems like forever. My God. Jesus. Light of confusion. Confusion. My God. My God, that's how some storms feel. It seems long. Hallelujah. The battle is over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. Right out the storm. Oh, dear. my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God, let's hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. My God. Hallelujah. We just thank God, my Lord. We just truly thank God. We thank God. We can never stop thanking God for his, his goodness and his mercy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If I will say something, amen, before we, before amen. we dismiss. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're glad that we can be able to communicate. Amen. Hallelujah. To the phones. Amen. We give God the praise and the glory and the honor. Yes. Amen. For the things that he has done for us. Amen. 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 We thank God for the word. We thank God for each and every one. Amen. We thank God that we overcome the storm. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. Y'all have a y'all have a blessed God filling day. Amen. God bless. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Let us pray. We're gonna pray before we leave. We're gonna pray before we leave. Amen. Let us pray before we leave right now. I want you to lift your hands to heaven. By faith. Even though we are distant, we are not together. But the Bible says that He sent His word and He healed and He delivered them from all of their affliction. There's no distant. There's no distant with the word. 